Hey guys, Joshua from Victory Installers Channel. Um, we're getting ready to time the engine today, so got a couple things I'm going to go over. These are going to have to be kind of divided up and segmented. So um, where I last left off is we were actually getting ready to put the rear cam in to the carrier and get everything torqued down. Uh, a couple special tools you're going to need. You're going to definitely want to make sure you have a torque wrench, so that way you can torque everything to spec because you don't want to jam this top carrier actually into the, uh, into your new cam. So. Here's what we're going to show you. So if you come over here, um, this is the engine and we're facing this way. So the front of the motor's here. The way we're going to do this is the torque spec that you do is this is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. You're going to want to torque those bolts down to 20 foot pounds. But the main thing is just do them snug up first. Don't don't go straight into torquing them. You want to make sure that everything's leveled in when you're getting this put in. So just to go over it real quick one more time, this is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. So now what we're going to do is to get your engine in, you have to have your rear cylinder at top dead center for the rear. In order to do that, you're going to rotate the engine clockwise on this side of the motor and you're going to see that there's a little pin here it'll face the actual rear cylinder that's how you know this is a top dead center along with this dowel pin you'll see there's two holes here at the very bottom if the pin fits into this hole you're at rear top dead center when you rotate it and you put it in here the front will be a top dead center We'll go into actual timing when we get to the timing section when I get the rear cylinder in. But the last part we want to talk about real quick. This is the timing, the wheel, the chain for the actual rear cylinder. Um, you're going to see the hash marks that we talked about for the rear on the back of here. And the front rear which is at the top here. When you install this wheel, you're going to want to slide it down inside of here. And you're going to have to kind of hold your thumb here so you can mark these two lines up at the same side. But you're going to need to go past it before you can bolt it up to get the chain around here. And this may take you a couple times to do because getting it on time is probably the most tedious part of doing this. So once you get everything all lined up and ready to go, you're going to want to make sure that you're level here. And the other cool thing about timing your victory is when you actually look here on this timing wheel, you can see there's two hash marks. You want to make those plain with the top of this. So there's one mark there, one mark there, the front and rear faces up, and then it should be plain with this. Those two hash marks that I showed you, you need to remember that those are there. That's how you actually time this back cylinder to the front cylinder. So. I'm going to get this stuff installed and we'll get back to you guys.